Lectures on the Philosophy of History, also known as The Philosophy of History, by Georg Wilhelm Friedrich Hegel, is a key work in the field of historical philosophy in which Hegel presents his views on the progress of history and the role of human freedom within it. The text is based on a series of lectures delivered by Hegel at the University of Berlin in the 1820s and was posthumously compiled and published by his students in 1840. In the work, Hegel seeks to demonstrate that history follows a rational process and that the unfolding of events is guided by an ultimate purpose. Hegel begins by asserting that the study of history must be approached philosophically, meaning that it should not merely recount events, as one would find in a chronicle, but seek to understand the underlying patterns and driving forces. He introduces his concept of a world spirit, Weltgeist, a manifestation of a universal, rational principle that governs the world and propels it forward. History is essentially the unfolding and self-realization of the world spirit, which, through various nations and individuals, expresses the ongoing development of freedom. Central to Hegel's philosophy of history is his concept of the dialectic. This refers to the process through which development occurs, typically seen as a three-stage pattern of thesis, antithesis, and synthesis. The dialectical process results in the evolution of ideas, political systems, and cultures. Each society or historical period presents a thesis, which eventually produces contradictions or its own antithesis, leading in turn to a synthesis, which reconciles the two in a higher form of organization or consciousness. This synthesizing process allows the world spirit to advance progressively towards greater freedom and self-awareness. Hegel divides history into several major epochs, the Oriental, the Greek, the Roman, and the Germanic, which includes the modern European worlds. Each of these represents a distinctive stage in the development of human freedom. In the Oriental world, consciousness of freedom was limited to a single despotic individual, the ruler, while others were not recognized as free. This reflects the earliest form of societal organization in which the idea of individual freedom hadn't yet emerged. The Greek world advanced the notion of freedom by recognizing that some people were free, but it remained constrained by the fact that this freedom was limited to Greek citizens and excluded others, like slaves. The Roman world further developed legal understandings of freedom, but did so within a context of empire and law that still did not recognize universal freedom. The Germanic world, in Hegel's estimation, represents the epoch in which the concept of individual freedom achieves its highest form. The Protestant Reformation, for example, is highlighted as pivotal in this evolution. By establishing a direct relationship between the individual and God, the Reformation set the stage for the modern understanding of individual conscience and autonomy. Hegel's narrative of history culminates with the Prussian state of his own time, which he believed represented the synthesis of freedoms developed through preceding epochs. In the modern state, the principles of freedom and rationality that have been gestating throughout history reach full expression. The state embodies these principles in its structures, laws, and institutions. He argues that the rational state reconciles individual freedom with universal order, allowing individuals to realize their freedom within the context of a community that operates according to rational principles. In terms of methodology, Hegel emphasizes the importance of understanding historical events and movements not as isolated occurrences, but as connected to the broader flow of history. The historian, he contends, should recognize the rational purpose in historical development and resist the urge to impose contemporary moral standards upon past events. Historical actors are often unconscious of the larger significance of their actions, serving as vessels through which the world spirit realizes its aims. Critically, Hegel's view of history is teleological, meaning that it is goal-directed. He holds that history has an endpoint, an ultimate realization of human freedom and rational self-consciousness. This belief has led to various interpretations and critiques regarding the implications of Hegel's philosophy for the conception of human agency, determinism, and the possibility of future history beyond what Hegel saw as the apex of his contemporary Prussian state. In conclusion, Georg Wilhelm Friedrich Hegel's Lectures on the Philosophy of History presents a sweeping, rationalist vision of historical progress. For Hegel, 
History is not a chaotic series of events, but a dialectical process by which the world spirit moves humanity towards greater levels of freedom and rational awareness. Each epoch represents a particular stage in this developmental process, wherein various nations and individuals contribute to the ongoing maturation of freedom. Through this teleological approach to history, Hegel seeks to reveal an underlying order and purpose to the historical narrative, with the modern state embodying the culmination of this evolutionary journey. Ultimately, Hegel's philosophical approach to history has left an enduring impact on the way history is considered and studied, linking the past with a broader, systematic vision of human development.